Ready? Thanks for coming. Yeah, we're gonna learn this new tune today. And here we are. All right. Hi, everybody. Hope you had a good time at the Big Fiddle Show last night. There's Pat back here. He's gonna help me for a few minutes. Play the tune. Today's tune is Daily's Reel. Daily's Reel. So it's a tune from Kenny Baker, or Skinny Baker as we like to call him. Skinny Baker. Skinny Baker, and uh, it's in B flat. We haven't done too many in B flat, not since the earliest days of Camp Possum did we do a tune in B flat. So this will be something good for everybody. <clears throat> and uh, let's just get right into it. So I'll play through it slow with Pat accompanying me. Uh, remember it goes to the four chord. chord. On the second right part. Right on the second part, That's right the away. part I really know now. Right, you know that part. <laughs> Roger, welcome back. Roger, I haven't seen you in a while. So, All right, so let's play a little of this thing. Not too fast, though. Thank you. 
it's not too hard a tune, but it's got some accidentals and some finger reach. And so uh, let's thank Pat for helping us out here. You're done for a while. Yep. But so uh, let's go through this. Let's go through this thing and uh, take it kind of slow. Let me pull in a little closer. Just a little bit, not too much. But uh, how's that? Oh, that looks pretty good. All right, so. So let's uh, let's see if we can play this thing now. So we're gonna mess around with B flat a little bit because we haven't done a B flat tune in a long time. So where's the B flat note? Well, uh, for you advanced players, you know, but just in case you're curious, it's uh, it's right above the nut on the A string. So kind of right here. So here's B. You're used to playing that one when you play G, G scale. But this is. Play that B flat on the A string and play it with the open D. Okay, so so those are two notes that appear in this tune, and if we play the <coughs> B flat arpeggio, it's gonna be like this. <coughs> Excuse me there. So we're gonna play B flat on the on the G string. So remember, this is B. If we're playing G, so it's right here. It's down a half step from the B, which we also play with the second finger. So let's play that B flat on the G string. Now play the open D. Now play the F natural on the D string. Now play the B flat on the A string. Now reach out at two whole tones away is the D on the A string. Now play F natural on the E string. And way out here with your pinky. So that's something good to practice right there, is that B flat arpeggio. And we're going to do some other arpeggios before we're done here. But so let's just start with the tune. So now in B flat, all the B's are flat and all the E's are flat. So if I play a B flat scale. Let's play that B flat. C natural on the G string. Open D. E flat, which is in the same place relative as the B flat is on the A string, but on the D. So it's right by the nut there. F natural, a whole tone away. Another whole tone away is G. Then open A, B flat. Now we're gonna play the next octave of the B flat scale using this finger pattern right here. So it is an F, so if I was, say if I was on the D string, on the A string, sorry, I'd have a the B flat, the C, the D, and then the E flat, no open E. Then the same thing, same pattern again on the E string. I'd have an F, the G, the A, and the B flat. So the, the B flat and the A are next to each other. And on the D, on the A string, the D and the E flat are next to each other. So let's try that, shall we? Here we go. So let's, let's, let's start right here on this B flat on the A string. Find that note. Play the C a whole tone away. Play the D a whole tone away. Now half step with your pinky. E flat. Now don't play the open E because that doesn't fit in the scale. F on the E string. Whole tone away is the G. Whole tone away is the A. And then a half tone away is the B flat. So it's So you got to practice those too. So the scale, so the arpeggio is like this again. And the scale is. All right, so we're ready to try a little bit of the tune here. So we got pickup notes. And if you got dots, I, I, there are dots. And there's mandolin tab as well. 
Now, this is going to be kind of a long lesson today, so I'm not going to do the mandolin today. I'm going to do a recorded version of the mandolin lesson to put up, because otherwise we'd be, we're going to be here a while, because a, there's a lot of tune here. So don't get discouraged, mandolin players, though, because you, know, you can still take away something here if you came just for mandolin. But I'm going to put up a separate lesson, pre-recorded lesson for mandolin of the same tune, because I think I need to go through all those scales and arpeggios, just like we're going to do here for the fiddle. So anyway, let us proceed ahead right here. Do do do. So the first notes are open D to F. That's the pickup notes. Open D to the F natural on the D string. And then the B flat. I'll play you the first bar. That's kind of like Soldier's Joy Lick. So I'm doing I'm doing a down bow on the B flat, and then three notes with a push. Get that first bar under our, under our fingers here. Okay, now the next bar starts on the B flat. That's all on the A string. Here's what you got so far. Okay, now the next two bars are all over an F7 chord. So let's think about F7 arpeggio. So, you know, we've got, we did this. That arpeggio of the B flat. If we use that same fingering and we move over one string, we can play an F arpeggio. So F on the, play with me, F on the D string. Open A. C on the A string, and then the F on the... F on the E string. Now, let's add the E flat on the A string uh, to make it uh, an F7 arpeggio, or four note arpeggio. So if we play with F, open A, C, E flat, So the next two bars are going to be like this. So we're going to be using uh, a lot of the F and the open A and the C on the A string. playing it earlier I've, I have rewrote the melody a little bit in my head but I'm gonna do what's on the dots because that's what's in Baker's version but I may not always play it that way but so let me scoot in a little closer here too do 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 do
right, so now let's play the first four bars of the tune, and then I will go on from there. So the first four bars of the A part. Okay, let me play it slow now. Ready, go. That, that fourth bar goes like this. Open A. Then end up back on the B flat. So that's all the same. So we're going to repeat the first two bars. We're going to play the four, four bars, first four bars, then repeat the first two bars. And then there's a little difference to round things off in the last two measures. So let me play up to up through the six bars, okay? Here we go. Then. So almost like what we did in, uh, in bars three and four, where we did that. We're going to do something a little different. And then the last bar is. C. All right, so let's play through the first part a couple times at a moderate tempo. And of course, later on, when you come back and look at the video, you can always slow things down a little bit for yourself if you need to. All right, here we go. Oh, Kim Harris. Thanks, Doug. I owe the tone of this fiddle to Chris Germain. You know what you know what those fiddles are like. They're the, they're the, some of the finest fiddles on planet Earth. So yeah, and, and Kim, glad to see you. Here we go with uh, Daily's Reel. First part through slow a couple times. I'm gonna play about right here. the whole first part of Daly's Reel. We're in B flat, remember? So now, this tune has uh, three chords in it. It's got uh, B flat, the first one chord, the F7, or just F, we can call it, the five chord, and it's got a four chord, E flat. So now we gotta mess around with E flat a little bit, figure out what notes we need for that. So an E flat arpeggio is E flat, G, and B flat. So let's look at that. So if I play this, find this E flat here on the D string. Remember, it's right, it's in the same, you know, relative place as the B flat was on the A. Kind of near the nut. Then reach out two whole tones to the G. Then play the B flat and the E flat with your pinky, which we've already done. Now, let's go on up from there. So we said E flat, G, and B flat and then E flat again, and then we'd repeat G and B flat. So it'd be, then G natural on the E string, B flat, 
that's a step and a half. Let us uh, play the tune. Let me play through the second part and I'll show you where this E flat thing fits in. So right at this first part of the second part of the tune, boom, it goes right to the four chord, which is E flat. So we gotta use some of what I just did. So it's gonna be. Okay, so now uh, let's let's break down what's going on there. Oh, by the way, I want to thank Ken Case for suggesting this tune. He did that suggested it a long time ago, and finally we worked our way up. And if you're not if you're curious, this is tune number 86 in our Camp Possum series. So we've done 86 of these lessons over the past two and a half years, and there's more to come. And there's a tune book. I'm going to have the final hundred tune book at some point when we get all the way to a hundred tunes. And so just stay with us. We're going to be doing this on our Saturdays again. So just uh, come join us anytime. All right, so let's play this tune, uh, the first measure of the, actually, I need the first two measures of the B part. That's where the E flat chord is. So we're going to start right here on this G note. Then B flat. So what I'm doing there, I think, uh, let's see. Try this. So that's just G, B flat, G. Then go E flat with your pinky. So I'm going E flat, C, B flat, G. Everybody getting that? Now don't be discouraged if you haven't played in B flat much. It's gonna sound kind of out of tune and hard to find some of these notes, but don't don't be discouraged. Just remember now, I'm starting on this G, and don't reach up to B, which is normally what we do. If we're playing in G, we're playing here. And when I go on down from there, Skip the D, go right to your second finger, C. Okay, now the next bar is B flat again, but there's an accidental, and there's an E natural, so.
so let's do the first first uh, let's call it the first four bars so so we're gonna do the E flat there's two bars that are kind of set in E flat and there's two bars set in B flat and then we're gonna go to F7 again okay so here we go with the E on the E start on this G We're gonna go to the F on the E on the E string. Let's play that again. Okay, good, 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 good. Hey, you know, uh, let's see here. We gotta tell you something. If you're enjoying this, if you're enjoying this, you can go to co-fee.com forward slash big fiddle show and make a one-time contribution. Buy me a cup of coffee, that's what we call it. But the real thing to do, the big thing to do, is go to patreon.com forward slash Charlie Walden. I've changed the, the claim on my site. It's now, it used to be the most extensive catalog of fiddle tune lessons on the internet. I've now upped the ante. I'm saying it's the most extensive catalog of fiddle tune lessons in the known universe, people. So go check that out. It's cheap, $4 a month, you can't beat that. You can't beat that with a stick. There's all these video lessons, hundreds of tune transcriptions, and a host of other stuff. And you'll also be supporting the Big Fiddle Show. So here we go.